the cleared away. We're going to get them on about Georgia, a bombshell in Georgia. Marjorie Taylor Grando, you've been all over this. Yeah. You've got to get to the bottom of 3 November. So what happened in the court in Georgia? Uh, I just got the email this morning from uh, Bob Cheeley, the attorney on the case, and I have to tell you, absolutely devastating news for the Fulton County audit. The case has been dismissed um, and it, for lack of standing because they're saying that the, the plaintiffs could not establish that they had received injury. I want to say this right now, Steve. If wide open borders, a, a complete invasion at our border, uh, the catastrophe in Afghanistan, arming the Taliban nation with $85 billion worth of our military equipment, abandoning Americans, uh, you can't say that enough, killing 13 soldiers, rapidly rising inflation, and all no of toys, all No toys on the shelf, no food on the shelf. Uh, they taking all your discretionary income and paying uh, yes. home heating fuel. That's, that's not damage. That's not injury. That's not injury. What is injury? And that is the direct results of election fraud. Everybody knows it. We need full forensic audits, and it is unforgivable that these things have not happened in Republican-run states. Absolutely unforgivable. Here's what we have to do, Steve. I'm going to tell you guys, here's what you okay. have to do. People, you you have, have had wonderful lives. We have, we have been the most blessed nation in the history of the world. We've been the most blessed people. I mean, if you're a woman listening to this show, you know a washing machine is a blessing. A dishwasher is a bless blessing. A car is a blessing. All of our lives, television, radio, everything we have. Cell phones, these are blessings. We, we have got to stop being lazy. We have got to stop saying we're too busy. We have got to stop saying, oh, but we go to work. Let me tell you, I know what we all do. We go on vacations. We go and have wine with our girlfriends. We go and we go hunting and fishing and we have our hobbies. If we're able to have all these wonderful hobbies and these great lives, then we're able to take time out and hold Congress accountable. The people, there's 435 of them. That's not a lot of people when it's compared to all of you. We have to stop this unbelievable Green New Deal. The Green New Deal is the destruction of America. It's communism, and it's not just about electric vehicles. It's about socialist programs that they have all written in infrastructure and all written in this budget that is going to pass because Mitch McConnell gave him a gift of time on a so beautiful how do we, silver so how, 